Hi, my name is Tracy, and I'm here to take the next couple of minutes to help you get started on your Magic School student tools. Magic School AI is an app that's designed to help you learn how to use AI and to help you with your schoolwork. Your teachers will assign you a set of tools for you to use in a particular lesson or project. We have nearly 40 tools that can help you do things like study for a test, develop research ideas, debate historical figures, just to name a few. When your teacher creates a Magic School room for your class, they'll give you one of three different ways to join your room. They can copy this link and send it to you, or they can ask you to go to this website and enter the join code that's right here, or they might have you scan this QR code with your device. Once you join the room, you'll see a screen that asks you for your name. Please make sure to use the name that your teacher has asked you to use before joining the room. When you click Join Room, you'll see the following message on your screen. One of the most important reasons that we created Magic School is to make sure that you have a safe space to interact with and explore all the ways that AI can help you in your schoolwork. So before you enter the app, we ask that you read over this set of expectations so that you understand how to use Magic School responsibly. Remember, your teachers will be able to see how you interact with your Magic School tools. So please follow your school and classroom expectations. Some of the other important details to remember are, AI very much struggles to solve math problems, so please do not rely on AI for checking your math work. Interacting with AI takes practice. So if you don't get what you need the first time, try changing your prompt and regenerating your output again. AI is also here to help you, not do your work for you. So please treat anything that the AI produces as a starting point for your work and not the finished product. AI can sometimes produce inaccurate or biased information, so please double check any of the information the AI produces before using it in your work. And the AI does not need and will never ask for your personal information, so please do not include any of that information in any of your prompts. Once you've read over the responsibility code and clicked acknowledge, you'll now have access to the tools that your teacher has assigned to you. Your student screen will look like this. and it will display the tools that the teacher has assigned for your student room. I'm sure you're going to get specific instructions regarding how your teacher wants you to use the tools that they give you. But let me give you a quick demonstration of our rap battle tool. I'm a huge basketball fan, and I love debating which basketball player is the actual best, Michael Jordan or LeBron James. So I used the rap battle tool to create a rap battle between Michael Jordan and LeBron James to try to settle this debate once and for all. In order to do that, all I have to do is to come into my Rap Battle app, and I can put in my characters. And then give it a little information about what I want it to bait. And click Generate. And I get a pretty good version of a rap battle that you could imagine these two characters having in real life. The rest of your tools will look very similar and will work very similarly. You put in the information that the tool asks for and you click generate and the tool will produce an output that you can use as a starting put for your work. Thanks for learning how to get started with your magic school tools today and I hope you have a great class.